I mean, Hajibes had never beaten Alex Sorg before that one time last season, but it's been close every time since. And uh, once so you beat uh, Alex, you know you can do it again. Yeah. Because he's kind of a wall, in a way, where he feels daunting. But then you beat him once, and then it's like, okay, I can come past this wall, and now let's see if he will do it again. <laughs> let's get into this. Top 8, Losers Round 1, Alex Torg versus High GPS. Playing against Alex Torg is kind of just finding the kinks in his armor, right? Uh, it's it's really difficult to spot sometimes, but when they're there, they are there. And they're often like pretty huge. You can get those openings and get pretty huge punishes off of it. Because his strongest suits are his uh, strong, uh, neutral, just flow chart, and his advantage set is super strong. But when he gets into disadvantage, he can be a little bit more uncomfortable sometimes. Yeah, but Robin has an escape option that is Elwin. She can go very low to just very low keep for the, sure. Keep yeah. the cover safe, and especially against Ken, that'll be very useful because you, yeah. you're not seeing Ken taking the chance of going deep with the short off stage for sure. But on ledge, it's oh. going to be a more scary. Because yeah, Ken kills super early, but just catches you on ledge, and you're going to be scared. And Shuriken is always there. Just take your sock at a. Yeah, exactly. This is a matchup that can very quickly d be defined by the ledge game because oh Alex Todig oh, also known to be incredible with the pressure on the ledge yeah. when trying to when you're trying to get back. That's very true. Yeah, the down smash he uses is oppressive. Yeah. As we see right here, Ooh. the shields have been trying really low. Both of that really high shield pressure, but no yeah. shield breaks as of yet. Yeah. This goes to show oh, that did he kick <laughs> through that? It goes to show that they know the matchup because they know how long they can hold their shields. High GPS yeah. really wants to get in now because Alex Sorg doesn't have 11 sword just yet. There it is back, just as I mentioned it. Calling out that cares. jump. These players are... Oh, He's wow. figured it out. He's figured something what? out. Oh, anyway, though, despite these weird get-up attacks beating out Arcfire, Alex Sorg is still able to get the first dog. Yeah, Alex are really good at calling oh, out these ooh. jumps. Which is something Hajibes also is very strong at. Hajibes plays Ken kind of like he's playing actually Street Fighter. Yeah. Just throwing out the Shuriken to punish a jump and then Hadouken in neutral. It's, but it works very well, especially against someone who jumps a lot, like Alex Sorg. Nice edge guard. Trying to just burn out the Elwind as much as possible. Okay. Alex Sorg though still living. Of course, Ken a very explosive character. Anything will kill him now oh. almost. But Air dodging through it really nicely. Timed oh. and I was off stage so and Robin edge oh, 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 oh my god. And the taunt as well. Wow. Well, I'm for you with the matchup, statement. Bro. I'm in top eight for a reason. He's going, oh, you don't know no matchup. Here's some notes. Oh. Read them. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. He's calling out every single option Haji is going for in this advantage, by the way. Like, every single time uh, he gets Haji in tech situation, he just hits him. That is very, very impressive, and he has a, such a big lead. Oh my god. Still I a big lead, though. Yeah. <laughs> it is still big lead. quite huge. Yeah. One and a half stock. Another oh, Arcfire. No. We've seen the Arcfire to Arcfire conversions from Alex. Oh before. god! He's so pressured right now. 125 <laughs> off stage. Can Alex are close enough to oh, the Arcfire? Oh, he whiffs it. The second uh, Arcfire there just helping him out. Nice him jump back. there. Just getting through that strong defense that Alex or has. Is gonna is it gonna be enough? Oh, oh my god! god. Smash. Illegal, illegal down smash. It shouldn't yeah. be legal at least. How did that hit? <laughs> Fun fact: There's no option. There. Yeah, no option. You die. My god, that was a very dominating game won by Alex. I can right hear there. them exchanging words. I, I bet Hydra is like, "What do I do there?" And uh, Alex is like, "Give up." That's <laughs> just what you do. The matchup is unwinnable. Yeah. Give yeah. up. <laughs> <laughs> you should pick up a secondary. <laughs> no. So in the first game, you usually want to feel out your opponent. And in this case, it's pretty rough for high GPS because I feel like he didn't really get to feel out Alex Thor's game plan for this set. Yeah. Because it was just so overwhelming. And that's very good for Alex Thor going into this second game because that's a lot of momentum to ride with. But that, that's kind of the thing I was uh, talking about uh, in the beginning of the set where Alex Thor has a very strong defense, but when you find those cracks in the world, wall, that's kind of where you have to push. But if you don't get that opportunity to push because you're in disadvantage the whole game, oh, and getting oh, up smash and almost dying at 80 with an up air. Building even more percent. Focus saving his ass right there, but there is a lot of pressure built now from Alex Org. He's using up all his book juice. His yeah. book juice his is book out. Juice. Oh my god. I also like the stage choice here from uh, IG uh, The smallest stage that we have on the list. So he probably wants to like, have yeah. an easier time just getting in. But Get up close and uncomfortable. But at the same time, with such a small stage, you will end up a lot more on ledge which can be very bad news. Oh, and that's still not very going to true. kill. Good high, high, DI from high GPS. Got that box DI. Going for the Arc Thunder there. Not going to kill just quite just yet. 
Oh, he goes for the re-grab. Oh, once again, he's gonna get caught, though, because you're in a lot of lag after the get attack. I yeah. like the idea, but... Oh. Oh. I think Stork is starting to adapt to the get-up attack. Yeah. Because getting up attacking, sure, you get away from... You, like, you, you make the arc fire go away, but whatever. Like, oh. Yeah. Yeah, get-up attack is a... It can be a very good option, but it's also very committal. You have a lot of end lag on that attack, and that's been punished now. So, very good adaptation from Olyx so far. High JP is struggling to get, get back in, has to take step by step. Levin Sword gone, so he should try to build an advantage now that Alex Rog is not that really impressive nice with timing. the new normals. That's kind of the uh, kind of play to the Arc Fire, is rolling at the right timing. You kind of have to get a read on the timing that Alex Rog sends out of Arc Fire, but when you get that timing, you get a huge amount of frames to just throw out any counter option you have. Oh, oh the Thoron is missing. That's a lot of hook Speaking juice. of, High JP is doing a lot better this game. Absolutely. Ooh, Seems nice. more comfortable uh, in the neutral right now, man. Finding ways to get in and getting off ledge pretty well as well now. He's still getting walled out quite a lot by just the superior range, but he's making the openings count a lot more, which is uh, where That's it's actually gonna very kill. important. No, no, not yet, not yet. <laughs> I'm actually going to kill. My bad. My bad. Misinformation, baby. Curse. And we can see that Soldier's Boy Point is very, very visible here. Like, he thrives at a smaller stage where he can get up uh, up close and comfortable with Alex Torg. He's been able to avoid ledge a lot more. Of course, he's been hit oh, a man. lot like that, but... Oh, oh wow. Another snipe. We got that old man reaction time. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but high JP is very <laughs> Alex Torg is just sitting there laughing. Uh, <laughs> oh, Alex Torg not wearing headset is impressive as well. He's hearing yeah. everything we're saying. <laughs> He's gonna jump now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got giving hit. like the worst tip you can give possible. Oh, nice. All right, so now Alex Dog is back in the lead, but that doesn't matter against Ken. Yeah, nice like the, your stock can just melt at any percent if you're not careful. That's Ken the thing, and we have Ken with Rage as well, oh, one of the scariest characters yeah. in the game with Rage. But off stage, though, he's he's more like a little cat. You can uh, hit him with. Everyone. He yeah. traded the arc fight with the Hadouken. Ooh. Oh no way. Still oh my living, God. but that was a bad DI. But oh, oh, oh yeah. Yeah. that was yeah. a recovery right there. And now Alex Torg up 2-0. This is looking very good for him. Even though of course that second yeah. game was a lot closer. So uh, high DPS definitely not out, showing signs of life. Yeah, just some small tweaks needed on like the ledge play and stuff, and this can go any way after that. I like how he doesn't overthink uh, the stage. Oh, they're going FD. Oh, Mishima Dojo. Yeah, they're going Mishima Dojo on oh. the Omega version. I do want to point out that even though Hydra uh, has got a lot more uh, combos and uh, a lot better advantage this uh, game, he's still dropping a few of those conversions that he's usually very, very consistent with. And I'm sure that that last game, if Hydra uh, has just converted a little bit better, he would have taken that game probably. So he's definitely very capable of making this reverse trio and at least taking one game on the board. I am expecting. Uh, no uh, less of a match from HGPS than last game. Absolutely. How much uh, do you guys think the platform is helping Robin with the approaches? Uh, I don't think it is, which is why I think this is a scary pick for HGPS. Uh, the thing is, HGPS is banking on getting even stronger advantage state on this stage, yeah. but this stage is also really good for Robin. Yeah, true. Yeah, that wall will be much larger without any ladders you can use to climb up and around it. There's so much damage already. Robin has really good platform pressure and kind of gets a lot out of that, but still, when they're not there, you have a lot fewer approach options, exactly. and it's going to be a little bit more scared to just find those openings against Robin. Oh, that was some excellent play with the Levin Sword in hand right there. Oh, you can't Cody. shield that. Yeah, That's like me, Gunner's uh, grenade. You just kind of can't shield it. They're, in pl they're plus on uh, when you shield that. Oh, oh my god. fantastic. Getting two hits on that down B is going to make it go away. So Alex Tor, good, good awareness, going to seal out that stock. Yeah, that was a really, really just oppressive stock from him right there. Just applying pressure all over and never letting go. Ooh, active hitbox going through everything that Robin has. That's something I would like to see implemented a, li a little bit more. Oh, not getting the Tatsuke, but also either way gets the follow up. Robin wins back to neutral. They're just fighting for center stage at this point. And as long as as long as Ken is center stage, he's fairly comfortable. Oh, no more arc fires on deck for Robin here. This is a scary Ooh. situation. Levin also running oh. out very soon. <laughs> They're back. Oh, really nice jump from ledge uh, from Alex Sorg, just recognizing that uh, Hajibez is not looking for the jump right there. He's positioning himself to look for a roll or a neutral get up. Yeah. And now we saw it once again. The Get up attack through oh. the arc fire got getting punished right there. Up air, not quite. Oh, oh that was focus. excellent patience right there, just waiting oh, out. The no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh the down smash oh. is gonna finish it. That's Give a up. checkmate right there. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing you can do. What, what are you supposed to do? The situation is unwinnable. Yeah. Give up. 
Just give up. I've seen enough. We need to ban Robin. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, Alex Turk wants That's to end that. it with style. I mean, at this mm -hmm. point, Alex Turk feels that he has won this. And that is something high GPS can't take advantage of. For sure, especially when you're we'll able to because the oh, fire strings are so beautiful. Goodness, that He's is so good. It's so much damage. Oh. And that is going to be it. The curtain closes for our second dark horse. Vavik and High GPS now out of the tournament at seventh. Still another one who's had a fantastic losers run. Amazing. Up upsetting hyped and doorman to make it to top eight. Will be dropping to Alex Torg, but that is an honorable loss. Alex Turk moving on in losers, and now the only players left are top eight seeds. Exactly. In fact, the top six seeds are the ones still remaining in bracket. And high G good job on seeding. And Thank high GPS yeah. will be uh, facing uh, the or uh, sorry, Alex Turk will be facing the loser of the upcoming set. 